Have you ever pondered how a single institution has the power to control the entire financial system of a nation? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane to the 17th century. The year is 1694, and the world sees the establishment of the Bank of England, marking the genesis of what we now know as central banking. In the beginning, central banks had one primary task, to fund wars and monarchs. They were the cash cows for kings and queens, providing the financial muscle to wage wars and maintain their royal lifestyles. But as time marched on, the role of these financial institutions evolved. From the shadows of royal treasuries, they stepped into the limelight, taking on the enormous responsibility of managing entire national economies. From setting interest rates to controlling money supply, their influence grew exponentially. So the birth of central banking was not quite as benign as it may appear today. From one bank in England, how did central banking become a global phenomenon? Let's dive right in. The growth and expansion of central banking is a fascinating tale of economics and power. After the Bank of England's establishment in the late 17th century, the concept of central banking gradually spread across the globe. One notable instance was the creation of the Federal Reserve in the United States in 1913. Originally just a system of 12 regional banks, the Federal Reserve soon transformed into a central banking system with the power to influence the nation's monetary policy. Now, how do central banks wield such power? The key lies in their ability to control the supply of money and set interest rates. By increasing or decreasing the money supply, central banks can influence inflation and economic growth. For instance, in times of economic downturn, a central bank might lower interest rates or increase the money supply to stimulate spending and investment. On the other hand, during periods of rapid economic growth, central banks can implement contractionary policies, such as raising interest rates or reducing the money supply, to prevent the economy from overheating. In this way, central banks play a crucial role in managing the economic cycle. But it's not just about managing boom and bust cycles. Over time, central banks have gained more power and influence. They've become key players in shaping national and global economic policies, often stepping in during financial crises to stabilize economies. In fact, the expansion of central banking has been both a cause and a consequence of the growing complexity of our economies. As economies have become more interconnected and complex, the need for central banks to manage and stabilize them has increased. At the same time, the growing power and influence of central banks have further complicated our economic systems, leading to new challenges and debates about the role and impact of central banking. The expansion of central banking has been both a cause and a consequence of the growing complexity of our economies. How does a modern central bank operate and what has been its impact on our lives? Let's dive into the multifaceted roles of central banks in today's world. First and foremost, central banks are charged with managing inflation. By adjusting interest rates and controlling the money supply, they strive to keep inflation in check. This ensures that the value of money remains relatively stable and that our hard-earned cash doesn't lose its purchasing power overnight. Secondly, central banks are tasked with ensuring financial stability. They supervise commercial banks, enforce regulations, and act as a buffer against financial crises. When the financial sector is stable, it fosters confidence in the economy, encouraging investment and growth. Thirdly, central banks often act as lenders of last resort. In times of crisis, when commercial banks are unable to meet their obligations, central banks step in to provide the necessary funds. This role is critical in preventing bank runs and maintaining trust in the financial system. So, what has been the impact of these roles on our lives? On the positive side, central banks contribute to economic stability. By managing inflation and ensuring financial stability, they create an environment conducive to economic growth and prosperity. However, the story doesn't end there. Central banks can also inadvertently create economic bubbles. By keeping interest rates too low for too long, they can encourage excessive borrowing and risk-taking, leading to unsustainable increases in asset prices. When these bubbles burst, they can cause severe economic downturns. 
Moreover, central banks can exacerbate wealth inequality. Their policies often benefit those who already have assets, as low interest rates increase the value of stocks, bonds and real estate. Meanwhile, those without assets are left behind, widening the wealth gap. As you can see, the influence of central banking on our lives is far-reaching and profound. While central banks play a crucial role in managing economies, their actions also have unintended consequences. It's a delicate balancing act and one that continues to shape our economic landscape. Given its history and impact, what does the future hold for central banking? As we venture into tomorrow, the landscape of central banking might shift dramatically. One of the key drivers of this change could be the rise of digital currencies. As blockchain technology becomes more widespread, central banks may need to adapt, possibly even issuing their own digital currencies. Simultaneously, the world is becoming more aware of the importance of tackling climate change. Central banks, as key players in the global economy, could play a pivotal role in this fight. They may need to adjust monetary policies to encourage green investments and discourage activities that harm the environment. These changes, while promising, are not without risks. The introduction of digital currencies could disrupt the traditional banking system and the focus on climate change might divert resources from other important areas. But alongside these risks lie opportunities for innovation and progress. The future of central banking is uncertain, but one thing is clear. Its decisions will continue to shape our world. So what have we learned about the history of central banking and its impact on mankind? We've journeyed from the birth of central banking, where it began as a means to finance war and control economies. This led to its growth and expansion, with central banks extending their influence across the globe. This power has been used, for better or worse, to shape economies and dictate monetary policy. In the modern era, we've seen how central banks have become pivotal players, grappling with economic crises, inflation and even climate change. Their decisions can ripple through society, impacting everything from the price of your morning coffee to the stability of nations. Looking ahead, we've pondered the future of central banking. Will it evolve with the times, embracing digital currencies and new economic models? Or will it hold steadfastly to tradition, a behemoth resistant to change? As we navigate the complexities of the modern economy, understanding the history and role of central banking is more important than ever. Until next time, continue to question, learn and grow.